Hello everyone, in this video we will create an exercise of modifiers. Modifiers are a special type of function in Solidity and specifically they are used to pack together our require and if and revert functions. So now let's create a simple contract code here and as you can see we have this code. It's a uint variable and we are changing the value of this uint variable by calling this function. And how we are changing it, we are using the function parameter area to change it. And so yeah, it, as you can see, it's very simple. Now let's put a condition here. Let's make sure that people who are going to call this function, they will pass a value which is bigger than 20. To do that, let's say require underscore value must be bigger than 20. As simple as that. If not, we will say wrong number. You can be more descriptive but let's cut it short. So that's how you put a condition for this function call. And imagine that you have many functions like that. And in each of them, you have this repetitive require function. So instead of having the same repetitive require, you can create a modifier. Let's say modifier is bigger. Of course, with the name, you can be more descriptive. Here, I'm just saying is bigger. And let's open some implementation here and where is that yeah here just cut it paste it and that's it now your modifier is ready actually but we need to connect this modifier to this function so you just need to grab the name and paste it here and as you can see i'm using a variable here so it means that i need to declare this variable inside the function parameter of modifier and here i will say uint let's say underscore num and it means I will just grab this, change it here. We now need to also create a parenthesis here. So just grab this value, paste it here. And now our modifier and contract is almost complete. I just need to add this underscore semicolon. This underscore semicolon, it means that after you finish the execution of the modifier, move back to your function to execute the rest of the code okay it means like that and here maybe I should also tell you this before and after function modifiers they are not used for uh, adding some extra functionality to your functions I mean you can of course create I mean you've, you can of course say that num is equal to 555 it's fine I mean you can add some extra code here or extra code here if you put an extra code here it means that this code will be executed after your function call finishes but uh, they are not used for this purpose, okay? I mean, 99% per percent of the time, you will need modifiers to put your required statements inside so that your contract will be uh, shorter and more uh, readable. And that's it, actually. And if you are not going to need to use this function parameter, if your modifier is not, need is not using this, uh, is not using a variable here, then you can just delete this function parameter area, okay? And in most of the modifiers, you will see that they are not using function parameter area because they don't need it. And now let's save everything. It's already compiled. Let's deploy it. And here, let's check the number five. Let's add seven. Uh, let's make it seven, seven, seven. You see it passes. It works. Now let's make it number one. It will not work because it's a, it's a number smaller than 20. And as you can see, this modifier didn't permit this number to change to one. Yeah, so that's how you use modifiers. See you next time. Bye-bye.